morning, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Cibulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. Today's Thursday, January 27th, and we're here with your morning announcement. Auditions for our spring musical, Cinderella, are scheduled for February 1st to 3rd in the choir room from 3.30 to 6.30. Students must attend all three audition days and be available for Friday callbacks just in case. The dates are as follows. Dance auditions are on February 1st from 3.30 to 6.30. Acting auditions are on February 2nd from 3.30 to 6.30. Singing auditions are on February 3rd from 3.30 to 6.30, and finally on February 4th, callbacks are from 3.30 to 6.30. Please pick up audition packets, monologues, and song choices from Ms. Demos and HE5 on Thursday or Friday after school. If you have questions about auditions, talk to Ms. Demos and HE5, Ms. Ball in the choir room, or Ms. Hendricks in the dance room. Now let's pass it on to Dylan Josiah for sports. What's crack-a-lackin' Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Let's get into your spectacular sports update. It's good to finally have you back, Dylan. Thank you, thank you. Congrats to the girls' basketball team on their win over Sheldon, winning 47-31. to Now let's check out their game against Franklin. Hey Wolfpack, I'm here with Nicole and Jazzy, and so I'm going to start off with Nicole. Um, what was your guys' best aspects of today's game? Um, I think our overall strength is just our ball movement, our shooting, and our speed, and that's what helped us win today's game. Thanks, Nicole. And Jazzy, what are some improvements you think you, your team needs to make in order to beat St. Francis tomorrow? Um, handling pressure from a very aggressive team and just going towards the ball from weak passes. Well, there you have it. Thanks, Wolfpack. See you next time. <laughs> You guys are 6-0 in the Delta League? Y'all are killing it, guys. Great job to our girls' soccer team on demolishing Sheldon 7-0. Speaking of soccer, the boys' soccer team has a senior night tonight against Franklin. Make sure to show out and support your team. Now let's, see, sorry, now let's get into some NFL news. Last weekend was the most exciting week of the year. For real. All the games and then on a game-winning drive, and we had multiple upsets. To start off, we had the Bengals and the Titans. And let me tell you, Ryan Tannehill really messed it up for that game. Yeah, maybe it's time to move on from him and find a quarterback that can, you know, win. But it doesn't matter because they lost 19-16 to and the Bengals are headed to the AFC Championship. Next up, we have the Niners-Cowboys game. And honestly, congratulations to the Niners. Y'all held one of the best quarterbacks in the league just by 10 points. Yeah, that was super surprising. But I am excited to see them play the Rams this weekend. Oh, my Lord. Don't even get me started with the Rams-Bucks game. That was a madness. I thought Tom Brady was, was about to pull off some magic again. But Matthew Stafford? Good job to him, man. He really deserves this one. He really does. Finally, to end off a crazy weekend, we had the craziest game of the year, Bills Chiefs. Oh, man. Josh Sound and Patrick Mahomes put on a show for us. It sounds like there was no defense in the last five minutes of the game. 
Yeah, but ultimately, the unbeatable Chiefs are back in the NFC Championship for the fourth year in a row with a 42-36 to win. I just feel bad for Josh Allen, man. He put the team on his back with the number one defense in the league absolutely folded on him. So sad. Patrick Mahomes cannot keep getting away with this. Joe Burrow is now our last hope. Yikes. Well, thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks guys. Are you 16 years old, at least 110 pounds and healthy? If you answered yes to any of these questions, consider donating blood to the NHS blood drive on Thursday, February 3rd. Sign up at the NHS blood drive table in front of the leadership room at both lunches. Parent consent forms are due Tuesday, February 1st. CSF peer tutoring will be taking place for all subjects in the cafeteria every Thursday for the rest of the term, starting February 1st. Ask your Advo teacher for a pause pass to the cafeteria. Today is Holocaust Remembrance Day. Let's check out this informational video from Student Equity Council. From CUHS Student Equity Council to the Wolfpack, we want to remember Holocaust Remembrance Day, which is on January 27th. Why is this day important? On January 27, 1945, the Auschwitz-Birkenau, the largest Nazi concentration and death camp, was liberated by the Red Army, or the Soviet Union. To remember and spread awareness of the Holocaust, you can share or make a social media post on January 27th saying hashtag we remember, watch Holocaust survivor testimonies on YouTube, and visit the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum website to educate yourself more on the Holocaust. On this day, we shall remember the World War II genocide that resulted in the deaths of 6 million Jews and 11 million others by the Nazi regime and its collaborators reject any denial that the Holocaust existed, and finally, reject religious intolerance and harassment of people and communities because of their ethnic origin or religious beliefs. For more information about holidays like these, make sure to follow Student Equity Council on Instagram at COHSSCC. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Paula Sabulo. And I'm Gary Bonbon. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Chocolate, Chocolate Cake Day, Wolf Pack. pack.